Okay, so uh, to expand on my previous video, basically I've just written all this code. Basically what that's doing is it's pretty much replicated twice. Um, the first bit is for the video, the second bit is for the audio. So what this is doing, basically every five seconds it's looking at the, um, the SQL database to see if anything has changed because the, the program knows the status of this and then it's got a uh, SQL as well so it's looking for them to be exactly the same if there's any difference in the SQL file to what the program has got stored in the status of this it will update it so if we just go into where it's running which is this one this is just debugging text I've got at the moment so it works both ways. At the moment you can see here video outputs. Hopefully you can see it. it is basically the same as here. If I change something on here, for example, change um, output one to input one, and it updates it on there. Here it will be updated. You can see that's changed there everything's in sync, brilliant. Now it also works the other way around so for example if we change output 8 which is currently on input 8 to for example number 1 and then press save it can take up to 5 seconds because of the loop there you go, that's just changed. Now you can see the selection mode is on video. If we changed an audio channel, we'll just do that now. For example, audio input 8, if we change that to 8, so inline edit, output 8, input 8, and then save, the program will switch it to audio input and then switch that. So, there you go, you can see that's just changed. And it all comes up on there as well, as I say at the moment it's just debugging, probably won't use this, this screen for anything, because that'll be locked away in a cupboard, not doing anything. But yeah, that's, uh, that's another update. This is pretty much done now. The only thing I need to do is uh, figure out how to how to write a uh, web interface for it. So thanks for watching. Cheers. Bye.